Hey, what's up? How y'all hey. doing? Hey, it's uh, it's hey. good to see, it's good to see y'all. Like, I wish we was in San Diego. You know, <laughs> seventy miles of coastline. Seen it in the brochure. Um, <laughs> like California's shutting down, and it hurts my feelings. <laughs> but there's there's one industry though that that it doesn't bother me. You know, like I hate strip clubs. But not like for the traditional reason. Like I hate strip clubs because they always trying to upsell me, you know? Like, like, why do I gotta pay money to watch you practice dance in the back room? Like I just came to see the show, show some support, support the arts, you know? Cause uh, cause I'm a comedian, right? But could you imagine if comedians was like strippers? Like, what if I did my set? And then after I do my set, I send you a little message in the chat box, you know? Hey, <laughs> hey, you little sexy thing, you, you want to come back with me to the back room? Five minutes, $15, I'll give you three of my regular jokes in private, and this a... <laughs> <laughs> and, and this a... <laughs> And this is a virtual show, so you can eat your mashed potatoes and cheese fries. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I see a lot of, I see a lot of screens off on the audience. It must be dinner time, you know. Um, California girls, <laughs> California girls is expensive, so that's like why I like dating out of state girls because they, they, it's very economical. They're easily impressed, you know. Like, I could take a girl from out of state to In and Out. Get her a double double animal style fries and she'll tell all her friends it was the best night of my life. We went to In and Out, you know. I can't <laughs> do that. It's hard. It's hard out here, man. Like it's hard out here for me to compete with these dudes, man. These dudes are staying home, getting pandemic checks, texting girls all day, taking them to steak dinners, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't compete with that. I'm Cheesecake Factory at best. And that's <laughs> and and that's once a month. Okay, you know, like it's hard, man. Like, I don't know, like, oh man, like this is a I'm not gonna lie to y'all, like this is fun, but it kind of feels like a silent auction, and we just out here just bidding for laughs, you know. <laughs> this is what kind of feel like. But um, I found a date hack though, you know. Um, I wish it was more ladies on here, but you know. The, we got enough to, to get this joke through. Like, okay, so I've been working. I found this hidden place, right? So say if I take you on a date, right? This place has ambient lighting, you know, spacious tables, no wine, but a moderate beer selection. You get a personal chef that will make your food for you ingredient by ingredient to your perfection. Like that's a good date, right? Would you be satisfied, California women? I found this place. Um, I'm going to take the silence as agreement and say, y'all said, yeah, you know, 2021. <laughs> 2020, 2021, baby. We need to start going on these Chipotle dates. You know, Chipotle fancy, man. Like, the, the, the problem is there's too many Chipotles. That's the problem. It's oversaturation. If there was one Chipotle in every city and it was called the Chipotle and it was booked up for months. Y'all would get all dressed up and fancy like we are going to Chipotle. <laughs> uh, oh man, we haven't, I'm having a ball, man. Like, cause this is this comedy to me. I like, I like window box comedy. Okay, I'm good. I've been window doing this for a while. Com- <laughs> I like the window box comedy, you know? And um, I will tell y'all this audience, you know, it's hard for me to get a feel on y'all cause I can't see y'all, can't hear y'all but I, I know you hear my voice. I'm, I'm, I'm sending you, send you a message, right? I hope you're enjoying this, you know, like we had to make a cut to be here, okay? Like they, you made a very economical entertainment decision. This is a $5 show. Like it would break my heart oh, if somebody shit. was, it would break my heart if y'all was in the audience like, yeah, we should have bought that little Caesar's pizza, you know? Because <laughs> as comedians, we are we are better than little Caesar's pizza. We are worth the $5 and we appreciate you coming to the show. You got some some very good comedians coming up after me and I appreciate y'all for coming, man. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.